Welcome back to my Race Derby Grid series. We're on to the final three events in the global tier of this uh, career mode. Uh, next up, we're going to do a Pro Tune. We've just done the drifting one last time out, so I'm going to do Pro Tune this time around. We've got five races in front of us today, and um, yeah, we'll have a look and see. We've got a couple of cars to choose from. I own all of them apart from three, so we'll just do a quick randomization and stop. And it's the Nissan 350Z in which we will be racing today, so let's jump straight into it. Okay then, so David started up in 12th, uh, fifth, up in 12th, we're down in 8th, and that was a decent start, this car launched quite nicely compared to other cars that I've, uh, that I've driven. Oh, oh, there we go up into sixth place now to turn one. One of the tracks that I really do like out of the, out of the American ones. I'm not really a massive fan of many American circuits. Um, but this one in this game anyway is one of the ones I, I do prefer. And this Nissan is handling quite nice so far. I think I've only driven it once before. And that was um, in a, a Pro Tours event. But it wasn't anywhere near as fast as the NSX. So I had to go and buy that to redo the event. But here today, it's had a quite nice run of these state circuits, and um, circuits like this, I think I much prefer to the, the Japanese mountains, so I should do a little bit better against these uh, NSXs today. But we're battling, we've caught up with this front four now, David obviously being one of them as well. And hopefully we can make a move, make a move somewhere. Going past David up the hill here, again like I said last episode of Summit Gran Turismo, this part of this circuit reminds me of the, the Seattle circuit as well, love it. I used to love coming up the hills. There we go, Viper's got it all wrong out of that turn. We've managed to get him to third. We're going to get him on into second place now after that wee mistake. And we've got Brad Petty, the leader, in front of us up next. Hard on the brakes if we can catch up with him now. Right, I've done the best I could to try and catch Brad Petty here, but it's really just not uh, panned out very well at all. He's kept a consistent three setting gap to me throughout the, the remainder of this race. I had a little bit of pressure from the guys behind for a bit but that's all uh, all gone now as I try to sit, sit, uh, sit about catching Brad but yeah just didn't happen at all so I'll take second place so there we go finished uh, just under three seconds off off Brad and that one so it's not what I wanted at all um, David didn't have the best of times after having a strong start he slipped down to ninth place so um, got a good few more races to, to sort this one out so second in the championship, as we know, um, we're a fair fair bit off uh, the team at the top of the standings at the moment. So we'll hopefully rectify that in the next four uh, four races. Okay then. So it's David fifth again, myself eighth again, and another American circuit. Oh, in a sec, blocking me off already. It's not often where this out of the field in this circuit, so we're avoiding all the, the rear carnage that usually happens. But I've managed to get past David very very early on there, right around the outside very nicely indeed. Up, oh, up the inside there. It's going to be the outside for this corner, but we're into fourth already, which is excellent. What I was going to say in the last race was, I don't think these cars have the the top end of all the, the other cars in these in these races, especially the NSXs anyway. So, um that last track was quite a fast one so that's why I wasn't able to, to, to catch Brad got a little bit through the corners but on the straight he was just pulling away from me again so oh he's gone made a mistake the leader has gone all over the shop man well Steven Sang hasn't quite spun out engineer he kept going the wall saved him partially but yeah I don't think this car's got the, the top end of these other ones so uh, down the straights Brad Petty was just keeping keeping a nice gap to us but now Hang on, hold the phone. Never mind. But now we're out in front, so hopefully I can keep this gap and maybe push ahead of them all in the tighter sections if I don't hit the wall. So there we go. First place, completely zoned in there um, on that on that race towards the end. But yeah, made a few mistakes on the, the second lap of the race, but managed to um, pull enough of a gap over the next couple of laps and. Uh, get a nice six and a half second win and David got up to third place that's really going to help us out in the team's championship as well so 
good day in the office. So there we have it, we've got a 10 point lead in the championship at the moment. Um, I didn't see what Brad finished in that last race, but obviously it wasn't as good a result as he was hoping for. David's up into 6th there, and in the team's championship we have now gone from 11 points back to 13 in front. So yeah, that second round of the championship really did um, did wonders, wonders for us. But uh, not enough time to reflect on that, we're going to go straight into uh, race number 3 of the championship. So that guy loves this track, I absolutely despise this track. Uh, let's see how this goes then. No sign of David Cooper, is that him up in the front row? It is, second place David, nice place to start. And um, we've got a nice start, they've got two cars off the launch, which is not something that happens often for me, I've just rammed into that car. That is a terrible first corner for me, that NSX is looking a lot worse for wear. That certainly wouldn't sell second hand on eBay now. Oh, I'm going up the inside. Let's see if we can swoop around the outside of these couple here. Nope, I'm getting pushed out wide. Everyone's going wide. I'm going to duck up the inside. That was a nice gap that just opened up for me. Around the outside of Brad. There we go. Into fourth place. As David uh, David takes the lead. But I, I usually get pretty terrible starts in this game. Mainly because I use X to go and not the trigger. So I can't really feather the throttle. It's on or off. But I don't care. I like I quite like racing classically like this. But good old Gran Turismo 1 style. And... Uh, that is a car spun off and giving me a podium. Happy days. But we're now off, um, off after these top two. David is doing a very, very nice job holding the lead at the moment. This is a Japanese 1, 2, 3 here. As we come towards the end of the lap, Enzo's looking up the inside of David. David's got a nice run around the outside. He'll hold that, no bother. And Enzo's got to watch out because I am coming. Oh, it's all getting a bit tight there. Oh, what a run that is at the last corner. I think David held them both up and I've... David's been swamped. David has actually just been swamped. That Skyline's got a bit more top end than, than this car, so... Oh, i have terrible on the brakes. Oofed. That was very, very close battles, isn't it? Bloody hell. Poor David got swamped in the straight there by myself and Enzo. And, uh, well, anyway, I'm up into the lead. And that's all that matters for me right now. Cutting those corners, not really working very well for me, but David, hopefully he can, he can get back up into second. But I'm going to hold this till the end now. Happy days. So I managed to drop the two other Nissans behind me. Pull a little bit of a gap over this last lap and a half. And here we come, round the final corner of race three of the championship to take another win. David looks like he's getting another podium, which is excellent for us. But uh, that was another another good day in the office for the team there. So a Nissan one two three, Isla base first and third, which is exactly what we want. And uh, we'll have a look at the team's championship now, and it's going to look good for us. I'm pretty sure. So there we go, a nice big advantage in the championship now. David is closing in on second place, so hopefully he can get that in the final two races. As for the team's championship, yeah, well we're, we're running away with that now. So it's it's good to see David uh, upping his game from previous championships. So let's just hope that continues in uh, race four and five. So here we are, a tight Japanese circuit. Hopefully this will be home for our cars. David has started in the 11th though, so he's got a lot to do if he wants to work his way through the field. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So just hope he can follow follow suit. as the Skyline, the other nimbler Japanese car is uh, I suppose Honda and the I completely forgot about them being Japanese as well. <laughs> They're quite nimble compared to to the the Viper, which is going to be the car that's going to struggle here more than anything else. Let's have a look. That's very very close here. We're trying to get past these NSXs, man, but they were just blocking the way. Up the inside of one, up the inside of the other, and now we've got two Skylines to deal with. I wonder if this is Enzo's teammate. I can't remember what his car looks like. But we're hunting them down nonetheless. Lay it on the brakes into this final corner. Oh, nicely up the inside. He let that. He let us go there. Right then, Enzo is next on the list. I don't think he's really close to us in the championship at all. Nobody really is, to be honest. So um, not have to worry about him too much. But it'd be nice if we can get David up the field. I don't know where he is. Okay, so David has just come over the radio telling me he's dead last, which is not what we want to hear at all. In other news though, oh, I was trying to go up the side of Enzo the same way I did. I'm pretty sure it was his teammate the lap before. But we're right on the back of him now. 
Let's see if we can make a move somewhere through this section of the circle. Oh, the inside. Oh, we've touched. We have touched. It's not what we wanted. He's pulled away. He takes these corners very, very wide. There's another section coming up, I think, which he takes quite wide as well. It's very, very strange lines. Alright, it's this section coming up here. Last lap. He took it very, very wide through all of it. He's not taking it as wide this time, but he is under pressure. Can I undercut through there? Oh, he's touched again. He sent me wide this time. Around the outside. Can we do it? No, but we're going to have the inside for this next corner coming up. He's going to have to give way to us. Oh, she did. A little bit of a touch, but we've got past him now, so a couple more laps to go. Let's see if we can hold this. Right, here we come. Final corner of the race. Haven't seen David's name pop up in that top four at all, but don't think he's done so well this time around, but it doesn't matter. We've got the win, which is the main thing for us in our championship. So there we have it. We managed to win the race. David did not have a good day in the office at all, coming home in 12th dead last. So yeah, not ideal for us whatsoever, but let's have a look and see what that does to the Drivers and Teams Championship. So, Drivers Championship, as we'd expect, we're still leading the way by a nice margin. David slipped down to 7th in the Championship, which is not ideal for him whatsoever. As for the teams, we're still leading the way in a nice, healthy advantage, but that was closed in thanks to David's poor performance in the, in the last outing. So final race I think we've got the championship all but wrapped up just time to get the teams on Okutama my favorite circuit of um, of this championship anyway probably one of my favorites in the game this and this in Donington I do really like the, the short layout that we've got here and hopefully we can get a 1-2 with David starting nicely up the field but this turn one always proves to be difficult on the opening lap as we've lost a couple of positions there but we'll we'll gain them back don't worry it's a nice gaggle fight in here David's actually slipped down sadly because of it but uh, it's a nice a nice wee group here we'll slip up the inside come on David time to pull the finger out no not that way you're slipping down the order man you were in fourth at one point now you're in a ninth there's a card off at least that's a position for you Oh, I've made contact with the NSA. X, get off me. Didn't mean to put you in the wall, but... Yeah, so much I could have done there. Right, Brad Petty. Him, Enzo, these are all names that have been at the top of the, top of the standings throughout most of this championship, so we know that their team is going to be doing well, so we need to beat these guys. I think the problem I find, I find it is... This is quite a... Shut up, engineer man. This is quite a quick circuit, so these cars have got a, a higher top end than mine and David's 350Z, so I think that's going to cause some problems for David here. My superior driving abilities. Whoa! Is that a jinx? I don't know. I blame Brad for that one. I was nicely up the inside, man. It was a bit of a late dive, wasn't it? might just stay behind him. I'm going to say my superior driving ability to David is what's going to help me stay in front of him. Uh, well, in front of him and with, with these guys near the front. Let's see what we are looking at the back. Second place is Nissan. Skyline. That was close. I can hear Brad's car all over the back of me, man. Just can't escape. Oh, we've got a nice run out of turn one here. Will this be what we need for second place? Can't see the corner. Oh, I clipped that gravel. I do that every single time. Still right in the back of him, though. Lost a wee bit of the tail round there. This is all way too evenly matched for my liking round here. And he pulls out a little bit of the straights. But can we dive him? Yes, up the inside into second place. Right. Enzo, we're after you now, mate. Right, lap 5 is my fastest ever lap round this circuit, well, in this car here today, and I've managed to catch right up to the back of Enzo, it was so close to going to the back of him. So, on for the lead now. This is going to be very, very tight over this last little bit. He's brake though, that's given us the run we need. He's still there. Can we get up the inside like we did to his teammate the lap before? Oh, not quite close enough this time. 
damn it, we've lost a little bit of speed there with the back stepping out. That's not helped us at all. So this is last lap, do or die manoeuvres. Oh, look at the speed we carried. Ah, oh, into the back of him. Carried a lot of speed through there, and his teammate's now catching up with us, which is not ideal. Clip that little bit of gravel again. Right, it's all about getting this run through here, which I've mugged up so far. He's dabbed on the brakes again. Touched the curb, which half spins you a little bit. We've got all this final corner to do it on. If we can get a good run up the inside, we are up the inside, we've got a shorter run to the line, but he's got a little bit more power than us. Oh, too much more power than us. Damn, that was a nice close race there. Oh, second place. So, there we have it, second place in that race. So close to beating ends at the end. David did in tenth, so yeah, we're, um, he's not going to climb any higher than that uh, driver's championship. But the teams, I want to know about the teams. So, there we go. A nice 30 point um, win in the driver's championship. David slipped into 8th in the end there. Dodge Viper was not the card I picked for this championship by the looks of things. They've all finished down at the very, very bottom. As for the team's championship, we did manage to win that despite the, the results of David at the end there. But, um, well, it isn't a but, that's a good thing. What am I saying? Anyway, <laughs> let's have a look at our uh, sponsor money coming in. And then uh, we'll have a look at what sponsors we get as well. A nice bit of reputation points keep us going up the rankings in the uh, in the drivers. Nine million. That is what we want. Oh, a team win bonus. So it is good to win the team championship as well, obviously. So three more sponsors. We're going to stick these in the car and then have a look at what's up uh, next for the next episode. So there we go. Two new sponsors on the car. I think. Aye. Ro rotors, rot rotors, 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 Tim, somebody can tell me, and Kenwood. So that's time um, um, done and added to the car now. It was a nice championship, that car was actually quite nice to drive there as well, so I really did, en did enjoy that one. Um, didn't quite have the power, which is, I think, what uh, hindered David there. I think he could have done a lot better with a car that had a little bit more power. But nonetheless, um, that was that championship done and dusted. And we'll uh, have a look and see what we can do in the next episode. But thanks very much for watching, as always, and we'll see you for that next episode.